Hi everyone and welcome to this wonderful interview with Lucia Capaldi, who is the FDA Foundation Degree and Integrative Counselling Lecturer here at Iron Mill College. So welcome Lucia, it's lovely to have you here. Thank you. And we're just going to start off really um, this, this great interview of yourself, just talking about how you got into becoming a lecturer in counselling. Like, How did your journey start with counselling? Hmm. Um, well, it's been quite quite a long journey, actually. I think I um, it's been kind of a number of years in the making to get here. I um, I trained many many years ago now at um, the Kruner Institute um, in core process psychotherapy. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of my first introduction to my my own training. Mm -hmm. And that was a really wonderful, really wonderful course, really in depth, met some really lovely people. And, you know, for me, it was a sense of finally finding what it was that I really wanted to do and where I wanted to put my attention and energy. So when I when I finished my training there, I, I worked, I had a private therapy practice. I still do have a private therapy practice um, but I was also interested in working with other other client groups and groups of people and I worked in addiction services for a number of years and also family mediation um, mm -hmm. domestic violence so a kind of a a kind of a range of services really around helping and supporting people and you know helping people find their own answers and solutions to you know where they wanted to go in their life and identify what was important to them and I think from them really I, I suppose you know I worked as a practitioner for a long time and I think at some point I, I started off teaching with just running some very small CPD days for mm. for the practitioners so often people would say I'm really interested in your work with addictions or I'm really interested in what you're doing here and could you you know could you share some more with us so it started off with some CPD days for the practitioners which I just really enjoyed and I I really enjoyed teaching and sharing and I see teaching as a way of people coming together sharing our learning sharing our experiences learning from each other mm -hmm. and um, in a sense that's what you know what we what we want in our in our you know in our training courses as well that yeah. we learn from each other and we come together to share whether that's theory or experiences or our own reflections so so yeah that's kind of that's a little bit about my journey <laughs> and that's great and thank you for sharing that it sounds like you've had such like an enrich experience um you know prior to teaching which will be really invaluable um you know subjects and experiences to learn from if you were a student so that's that's really really great OK, so we're just going to go into the course now, actually, if that's OK, Lucia, just about the foundation degree in integrative counselling. So what is the degree all about? I know that's probably a really large subject, but in a nutshell, you know, what is the style of learning? What can students or potential students expect to see inside the classroom? You know, what, what is it all about? Mm. OK, so some big questions in there. Yes. <laughs> um, so the foundation degree, perhaps it would be helpful to me to give just a little bit of an overview of the foundation degree and then. Yes, definitely. You know, move into what right. you might expect. So so the, the programme, it's a two year programme and it's run in partnership with the Imill College and the University of Worcester. So when students complete the, the programme, the foundation degree, they'll receive their award from the University of Worcester um, to have a degree. Mm -hmm. The other thing to say about the course, not only is it a university degree, but it's also a BACP accredited course. And the two elements of it being awarded a degree and having accredited status means that for students they come out with two really kind of quite prestigious and essential elements really mm -hmm. they've got their academic qualification in the form of a degree but also their professional membership in terms of BACP 
registration, which in terms of future employability, future learning, setting up in their own practice, that's really important that they have that. So although it's a full time course, I suppose I want to make make everyone aware, really, that the foundation degree is a full time course. So although we only study in college one day a week, there are other parts of the course that, that kind of integrate into their learning. So while on the course, students will do their one to one placement. Mm -hmm. um, we have an additional work based learning module, which means that students can go and volunteer in, in a counselling service or a charity in the voluntary sector and gain those transferable skills and experiences that mm -hmm. are re really aimed towards employability. Um, so when we put those all those kind of aspects together, along with, you know, study and personal therapy and supervision, it's um, it, you know, it's a full time course as as full time university students, of course, that means that students are eligible for student finance. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good point. one of the, you know, thinking about whether students choose a degree program or perhaps another program often being eligible for student funding means that those students can they've got the, you know, they've got the time to work full time. In mm -hmm. a sense, it can make it can make a difference. They don't have to kind of try to juggle a huge amount of work commitments as well as studying. Um, so that can be that can really help students if they haven't got to worry about fees and managing financially. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so that might be one of the reasons why why students choose a degree. And also, if you've got the time to immerse yourself in full time study, um, you know, after two years. You know, you've got something really valuable. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And just to go into that a bit more, you know, when you complete the foundation degree, you're ready to start your practice. You know, you're qualified, which is, must be really, really exciting. And you know, there's there's plenty of support and learning and help that's given to students just before that transition that will prepare you where you'll feel absolutely confident to go out into the world and start your practice which is amazing which is really really great thank you Lucia and just one last question whilst we're here and I guess many viewers will probably have this question as well why why should they choose this course um, over other courses why should they come to Iron Mill and do the foundation degree in your opinion why why would that be the case? Hmm. I mean, what students tell me, um, and I guess it's it's good to hear from them really, why yeah, they chose, you know, why they why they have chosen the Iron Mill or why they have chosen this particular course. I think um the foundation degree has been running now for about seven or eight years. And I think over that time it's developed a really good reputation. Um, along with the college as such. So a lot of our students come and all the time they're saying, I've, I've been recommended, you know, I know this person, they've recommended this course, they've recommended this college because they've had such a good experience of being a student. Mm -hmm. um, so those are, those are often the reasons why students make their first inquiries is because often they've been recommended. I think the other reasons why they may choose a foundation degree over other courses. I, I think it's a very robust training. I think the fact that we integrate the placement and the work-based learning within the training means that throughout the course of study, students are having their theoretical learning days in college. They're having, they're going into placement and practicing their practical skills. So it brings a lot of things together for mm -hmm. them. Um, and, you know, often students are kind of quite keen to to be working to, you know, to get their professional qualification, to get their degree. And, you know, because it's a full time course, it means that those things can be achieved within the two years. Mm, definitely. No, thank you. That's really great just to hear what past students are saying. And just to add, um, add something in there, we do actually have a placement coordinator who helps 
students with finding a placement, that whole process. So, you know, we actually have someone within the team who's dedicated to helping you through that process, which is really, really great. Well, thank you, Lucia. And of course, another benefit is that, you know, you could be one of the lecturers <laughs> on the course as well. And just hearing your experience prior to actually, you know, joining Iron Mill is completely invaluable. Um, and it's a pleasure to have you on board the team as well. So thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome. Thank you. And if any um, students have any questions, can they email you directly? Obviously, we have our inquiries inbox email address, which is inquiries at imill.co.uk, where you can send your inquiries in. But if someone wants to get in touch with you, could they? They can. Um, either way, they can either send the email to inquiries because they generally just get forwarded straight on for me yeah, if they're on. FTA, or of course, um, yeah, contact me directly as well. Perfect. OK, well, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you so much.